Hi guys and welcome back to Fit With Tea. I hope you guys are good. So this is video 10, yes 10, of my Sprint and ABC series. And today we are talking about jump training for sprinters. If you've been around on social media at all, then you would have seen sprinters, athletes, showcasing their plyometric exercises. They look really cool, especially in slow motion, but they do have more benefit than just looking cool, right? So plyometric exercises, jump training, is used by sprinters and athletes across the board or people that are just generally looking to get more powerful because we know that power equals speed times strength. Plyometric or jump training is really useful to helping us to develop that power because what we have to do is we have to apply force in a short amount of time. Now I'm using the two term plyometric and jump training. There is a specific difference between jump training and plyometric training. In general it's usually to do with how long you spent on the ground. Jump training usually refers to those movements where you spend a bit longer on the ground. So for example a box jump where you kind of power up your muscles for longer before you react. Whereas plyometric exercises let's say something like alternating bounds is where you have to react off the ground quicker and you have repetitive movement. So for the purpose of this video, I'm defining jump training as those exercises, whether repetitive, singular, but those exercises that we do with two legs, which is what a definition of a jump is, right? So in the video today, I'm gonna give you guys 16 different jump variations that you can add to your training. I'm gonna try to showcase these exercises for you guys from lower intensity to a higher intensity as best as I can. Some of them are gonna be plyometric. Some of them are gonna be jump exercises using box or using your body weight and so I hope that you can pick what you like. So let's get into the exercises. So guys, that's the video. Those are the exercises. Let me know in the comment section below which was your favourite. This is not an exhaustive list. Of course, there's more. There's more that I didn't add, but it's just a case of having the videos or being able to record. I'm actually getting over an Achilles injury at the moment. So very limited on what new exercise I can record for you guys. But I tried to have a dig through my video library and record a few new ones at a lower level for where I am at present. So let me know in the comment section below what double leg jumps do you do as part of your plyometric and jump training. And if you like the video guys, please give it a big thumbs up to help me accelerate my channel, to let the algorithm know and so that more athletes like you can see this video. And if you haven't checked out my video about ground contact time, then I'll encourage you to check that out over here. And if you haven't seen my video where I talk about isometric strength and how that can actually help you improve your ground contact time, then check that out over this side and I'll see you guys on another Friday. Bye guys.